Antonella, it's that time of year. The Christmas decorations are going up at the townhouse. It's very exciting. The front's already done. Today, they're working on the second floor. And um, I can see what a Christmas wonderland we're going to be in a matter of days. Yeah, and it's always the best part of the year <laughs> foundation, I think. I love Christmas and I love the decorations. So, Although I think the maintenance staff did a fabulous job with the Halloween decorations. So. <laughs> You know, we've did. got a good number two going. I love to see what we can do in the spring um, because the building is so fun when it's fully decorated. So, um, but it's fun to get the sneak preview if you're a staff member and see the decorations going up. And we've had a great fall. We've had uh, Luca Manelli performed here uh, after his uh, performance on a float on Columbus Day. And we had a great crowd that night. We had Vanessa Rachi, who gave us a preview of some of the songs on her new album. And uh, we had Christiana Pegorara, who was really a sublime pianist. It was such a joy to hear her play. Uh, and we've had some great talks, including our board member, Maria Bartiromo. And so we've been feeding our minds and our auditory senses. Now it's time uh, you know, to think about the cuisine of Italy. And we have a great regional dinner coming up on December 2nd. Uh, we're featuring Tuscany, which is a place near and dear to my heart. Even though my family came from Sicily, I spent a magical uh, year plus in uh, Tuscany and Florence when I was a student and I've been back many times. Um, and one of the great things about Italy is those 20 regions still have 20 very distinct cuisines and uh, Tuscany is one of them. So um, do you wanna tell us a little bit about for instance, what our two appetizers are going to be that day? Sure. So our two appetizers that evening are going to be panzanella and a charcuterie plate. So that's a nice start to the evening. Uh, and then we're going to follow it with a pasta dish, as always. <laughs> um, that's well, going and to panzanella is really a classic Tuscan dish that um, uh, bread salad is, you know, something that is so simple, but really uh, packs a powerful punch. The taste is really divine. Uh, and you can't go wrong with charcuterie, and which is very uh, popular in Tuscany. It's really a meat region as opposed to some of the others that emphasize uh, fish or seafood. Yeah, and charcuterie boards have been kind of taking uh, the U.S. by storm, I would say, the past year or two. So they've been very popular here as well. So it's a great tie-in. Great. Um, you know, our pasta dish is going to be a ravioli with mushroom. So that's um, always very delicious. And great this time of year when you kind of want warmer foods and mushrooms always fill that bill. Yeah, definitely a comfort food for sure. <laughs> and we have a um, gluten-free option for people. Uh, we're going to have a risotto for people who can't eat pasta. So we, you know, increasingly are making sure we've always got a vegetarian option and a gluten-free option. So that's an important part of um, making members feel as welcome as possible for these events. And then what's our main course that night? Our main course is going to be the porchetta with roasted potatoes. And there's going to be a vegetable medley as well, um, baby squash, zucchini, and patty pan. Great fall selection. So it'll also be pretty on the plate. We've got some color in there. Um, and, uh, and I know Romeo was very excited to have um, a dessert that was also very reminiscent of Tuscan cuisine. So we're looking at either having um, a uh, chestnut or an almond dessert. And I believe it was hazelnut. Oh, hazelnut, even hazelnut, better. Yes. So it's <laughs> chestnut or hazelnut. And I love both of those. So I'm really excited. And it'll be a nice surprise that evening to see which one we get. <laughs> exactly. And then we're going to finish the evening with, again, something um, very, very popular to end meals in Tuscany. We're going to have Vinsanto um, and uh, Cantucchio, the cookies that are, um, you know, Again, popular in Tuscany, seen in all the bakeries around town. Um, and so it's really going to be uh, the classic cuisine of Tuscany. And um, and because it's a, t a heavier cuisine with meat and um, sort of heavier foods, it's also perfect for this time of year. We've got a little chill in the air and you want, um, you know, kind of warm comfort food. So, and I know you're going to tell us a little bit about... Uh, we we're going to have some Tuscan wines that night. Uh, I think one of our suppliers is going to work with us that evening for um, some special selections. 
yes, we're still working out the wines. Um, so we're going to be very happy to present those to the membership that evening as well. Great. Mm -hmm. um, any final words um, other than we want to see people there on the second? No, um, you know, this regional dinner is going to be on a Friday evening, which is um, different. So that's good. It, nobody has to go to work the next day. We can enjoy a long meal. We can sip our wine and relax. And we have a lot of RSVPs already. So we're looking forward to seeing um, more people sign on. And uh, this will be in the Taverna that evening. So it'll be a great night. Oh, fantastic. I can't wait. And, you know, ending the evening with a Vinsanto sounds terrific. So, um, well, I can't wait to see you there, although I'll see you a lot before then. And, <laughs> uh, and to all of our members, come join us on the second. See you soon.